Hi, let's manipulate data across multiple worksheets. But first, so this makes more sense, I'll give you some backstory behind this document. So in this scenario, I have a dozen kids participating in a very small fundraiser. Each has set a goal for themselves and the results are shown in this 2014 tab. These are the goals that each kid set for themselves, how many they actually sold, and if they were up or down in their sales. For 2015, all we want is for the kids to sell the same or more than we did in 2014. So I'm going to copy the sales from 2014 and use those as the goals for 2015. Now instead of printing it out and typing in the data in manually, I'm going to show you how to pull the data from this 2014 worksheet. So first, if you remember, we copied exactly the worksheet from 2014 to 2015 and it's exactly the same except I did change it to 2015 up here. So just to make everything easier, I'm going to highlight all of this data and hit backspace. I'm sorry, hit delete. Let me try this again. I'm going to highlight this and hit delete and it clears out all of my data. Now first I'm going to go to the goal because that's where we're setting. Hit the equal sign. Go to 2014 and for Bob, he sold 29. That's the cell I want to grab the data from and hit enter. Now it pulled Bob's data from, and you can see in the formula bar, it pulled it from the 2014 worksheet, cell E3. If I highlight this all the way down, use the fill down that I showed you earlier, it'll pull each kid's data from the cells corresponding from the 2014 worksheet. And let's not forget that since this is a year later, we're going to simplify this and make everyone a year older. We can do the same thing, equal sign, grabbing Bob's age in 2014, and then we're going to add a plus one, since he's now a year older. When I hit enter, it'll pull Bob's data, who's nine years old, add a plus one, and now he's 10. I'm going to fill down again. All of his data, everybody's data comes up, their age is plus one. Now all I need to do is wait for the sales to come in and then put those in the sales values and we're set. Don't forget to save and I'll see you tomorrow.